We're learning more about the man accused of pulling a gun on Mobile County Sheriff's deputies during a traffic stop. As WKRG News 5's Jeremy Jones reports, the man accused of pulling a gun on deputies apparently has a history of threatening law officers. These pictures show what was inside a car that Mobile County deputies pulled over in Wilmer Saturday morning after they say the driver, identified as Hunter Sebastian Bixler of Texas, pointed a gun at them during a traffic stop. Some of the items include Xanax, a handgun, and pills investigators believe contain fentanyl. It all went down on Highway 158 near Jones Road. Vehicles going way under the speed limit and like swerving significantly. As he got closer, the driver, who was the male, uh, started waving, like trying to wave the deputy by to pass and not knowing it was a deputy vehicle, I'm sure. After deputies pulled Bixler and his female passenger over, Bixler initially gave deputies false identification. Another deputy arrived to assist, and that's when they noticed Bixler attempting to pull a gun from under his leg. Deputies drew their weapons and fired one shot, hitting both of his hands. Bixler is expected to recover as investigators say his injuries are non-life-threatening. Birch says his deputies were defending themselves. When someone puts their hand on a gun, and, and you know, that's a pretty good sign. I mean, what else are you supposed to perceive? Birch says after identifying Bixler, they learned that he has previous run-ins with law enforcement. Once they identified him and ran him through NCIC, there was a notification that he was armed and dangerous and will engage law enforcement you know, with a firearm. Once Bixler is released, he will face 10 different charges that you see here on your screen. Some of them include possession of an altered firearm, possession with intent to distribute Xanax, and reckless endangerment. Reporting in Mobile County, Jeremy Jones, WKRG News 5.